good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. The penultimate race, race seven, is the Phillies and Mayors 90 handicap over 1,500 metres. The first leg of the final double. It's due for 10 minutes to four. And we have nine runners carded. The early favourite is number seven, Zinna Kelly. And we have a rerun for you, which ran fourth on the 23rd of June. Zinichella on the inside. Outside the 200, Malcolm's Dream. Sovereign Grant's trying to fight back, and that's my baby starting to run on now. On the inside, though, it's Malcolm's Dream. Malcolm's Dream from Sovereign Grant. That's my baby coming late, but Malcolm's Dream probably lasted long enough. That's my baby second. Zinichella's involved with Sovereign Grant. Well, there we saw Zinna Kelly running fourth behind Malcolm's Dream. Malcolm's Dream reopposes here, but Dees, she seemed to get lost in the race. She seemed to be hanging towards the inside, and it was really only over the last 150 meters or so that she put her mind on racing and then quickly started reeling in the leaders. She does have 61 and a half. Uh, Richard Verree retains the ride. Um, if she runs, from that far back again, despite it being 100 metres further, she might be in a bit of trouble. But does she, for you, set the standard? 100%. I think she's the fully to beat. I'll actually go as far as to say place accumulator. She's a banker here, Graham. And if you want to take a chance, you like Faiza earlier on from the stable. This could be a stable double here with number seven, Zinekele. That poor draw last time out, um, you know, little of assistance to Richard Faree, the way she enjoys racing. And it did get a bit tight around the two, two, three hundred meter mark. And then he switched her in. And uh, I agree with you. She only started to grab you once they crossed the line rather than before the line. Because when they cross the line, you can see 50 meters pass. She actually passes them all there, number seven, Zinekele. So she is the horse that we like. Dangerous gram or cover bets if guys are looking for uh, one or two. I think number nine, a Mesherina, Peter Musket's runner has to go in on what she's shown to date. I think those two runs that she came out fresh, she won, she ran a good foot. You like Faiza earlier on. If that has to win, your confidence will grow with this filly. Yes, she's a nice filly. Um, she's cracked another awkward draw. Last time, 11 out of 11. Today, uh, 9 out of 9. But Peter Musket has made no secret of the fact that he holds his daughter of Give Me the Green Light in quite high regard. And she's got to go into the play. I think we can expect a little bit better from number 8, Princess Arlo. For my money, still a little bit high in the ratings, but she's been given a little bit of relief from her mm. last run and uh, tries a bit further again. Uh, so. We're going to see how she progresses in, in this event. I do give number six, Imperious Destiny. Interesting, Alison Wright, Imperious Destiny for Hollywood Syndicate. Zina Kelly, Gareth Vansail for the Hollywood Syndicate. I don't think the Hollywood Syndicate would mind which one wins. Uh, but this race could have a, a deciding uh, factor in, uh, in the outcome of the KZN Trainers uh, title. Now, Imperious Destiny, the last couple of runs have all been on the poly track. I fully understand and accept that. But she's run second on the turf before, and if you can run second on the turf, you can certainly win. So I think she's in good form. Malcolm's Dream, of course, one last time. You can't ignore her. And as you mentioned earlier, the Mark Dixon stable, he picks his spots. They're going quite nicely. Uh, so Malcolm's Dream, of course, uh, with Cole Dickon, has won five times, all five times uh, that Malcolm's Dream has won. She has been partnered by Cole Dickon. So for me, it's seven from six, but uh, clear respect for for nine and five, and perhaps number eight, Princess Arlo, to find a way somewhere into the quartet. And then if you're looking for further cover, number one, Mountains of the Moon gets my vote if you're trying to play it wide from a good draw. And I think that uh, she looks to be nicely placed here against this type of a field, receiving a lot of weight from a horse like Zinna Keller. But it's seven uh, and six uh, for Graham. And uh, both of us like number seven, Zinna Keller. It could be a Hollywood Bets exactor, or it could be a proper result in the exotics. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds, it's in your account. <laughs>